that anymore. I have both This eyes is Barbara Johnson's masterpiece, an illustration she can now look at with hope. Parts. This is how I felt when I was addicted, but this is how I feel now. Now both eyes are open. It's her life sprawled out on paper, raw, unedited, and honest. The red is just like hurt and pain, you know? It's like evil. You understand what I'm saying? That's how I felt. It's about abuse. It's about um, being incarcerated most of my adult life. You look at Lori Copeland's piece, it's 3D with words of darkness and depression, but at the end, she wakes up, and that's for a reason. I have a lot of fight in me. <laughs> <laughs> the pieces are joining about a dozen others made by inmates at the Norfolk City Jail, all vying for a place in the Chrysler Museum of Art's special display. Some of the pieces have deep meanings, others just a creative outlet, each one made colorful in ways you wouldn't imagine. These eyes, for example, are coffee. Color on Copeland's comes from deodorant rubbed on magazine ink. And you just rub it on there, and the color will rub off. Each rub and cutout is deliberate, telling a story, one these artists hope goes beyond the paper. And God got a purpose for my life. Hopefully I can save somebody else. Don't give up. You know, um, just don't give up. In Norfolk, Stephen Graves, 13 News Now. And this year's exhibit runs from November 6th to January 13th. It displays art.